Natasha from Wargamer Online and I'm here with Mark and today is the release of the expansion for Devil's Run Route 666. So do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, okay, so Devil's Run Route 666 um, was a Kickstarter we did about a year and a half ago and um, in the meantime we've, we've then sold that game via retail and various outlets including our website. And then today uh, we launched an expansion for it, which is a standalone expansion, which basically means you can play it with the previous game or on its own, doesn't matter. And they've two different games, but basically following the same mechanic. Yep. The new game has got uh, all new models, all new board tiles, all new characters. Uh, we have one faction which is called the Hunters, okay. and it's all sort of like dark things. So one of the characters in that is called the Vampire, another one's called the Reaper. And we have three witches that ride uh, bikes called Escarbos, and that in Spanish means uh, broom. So they're witches on brooms. And then the other faction, um, we've got a big uh, truck that's got um, a guy called Merle driving it with his wife Lynn. Okay. And then they've got three questing knights. One of them is called Le Morac, and he's a, a bald-headed guy that looks really depressed, but he's, he's, um, his special skills all around hope. We've got a, a bearded guy, a big chap, reasonably good looking, walks a bit funny. <laughs> Um, he's called Porez, and um, anyone that's a, a big uh, Wargamer on online um, fan will recognise him if you share the card at some point. And yeah, then, and then my favourite, we also have a character called Arthur, yeah. and he's um, he's a, a young lad, a good-looking chap as well. Uh, we don't know who his father is, but maybe it's Porez. And then finally, we have this beautiful character, the most handsomest man you've ever seen. <laughs> Long blonde hair, beautiful face, virginal in his nature, absolutely perfect in every way. And he's called Kay, and um, he's, he's a key part of the game as well. So, so the reason I'm laughing, um, some of you, so we've got the characters here, and some of you may recognise um, these when you see them. So um, is anyone thinking um, that any of these guys look familiar? I mean, this guy is beautiful. Now, could you tell us a little bit more about what happens to Kay? Uh, yeah, expansion? well, uh, in in the in one of the missions. Um one of the bad guys it actually captures Arthur, who's the young lad. But it was all a ruse because they really need the um, the virginal blood to sort because they need a virgin's blood basically, <laughs> and um, to do a, a horrible ritual. And um, they capture Kay. The Kay's it's, it's all about Kay, but unfortunately, I'm not sure Kay makes it to the end of the game. Unfortunately. Oh, How do you feel about that, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> but he is beautiful. You can't you he can't have everything, can you? Nice. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, so that's that's been the fun of it, and, and obviously you guys have supported us quite a lot with this, and hence why we've we've brought you into the game. But also, we're really proud of Devil, of of, Re, of of Reaper's Revenge because we turned it around in six weeks. So yeah. from the moment we saw you guys six weeks ago, we've created artwork, we've created a board game, we've created all the tiles, all the models, everything in six weeks, and nice. brought it here today. We're really proud of it, and it just goes to show that you there's no reason why games can take so long if they need to be. Yeah. As well, so no, that's brilliant. Days. Yes, so hopefully, um, it will be very successful. I'm sure it will. I'm sure I hope it will. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's got beautiful people in it. So, what well, can what um, else? exactly? What more could you want? Exactly, what more could you ask for? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Thanks ever so no much. No problem. Mark. Well, thank you, and definitely do check out the game.